As an astrophysicist, something I get asked all the time, especially at parties, is what is gravity? Let's explore the origins of that question. The OG of gravity, British scientist Sir Isaac Newton. In 1666, Newton saw an apple fall and asked what force pulled it down? His observation lay the foundation for physics and the understanding of our universe. And this is a piece of his actual apple tree. This, here. So, what is gravity? It's the force that shapes the universe, keeps our feet on the ground, and even allows us to see distant galaxies. But gravity isn't one neat, uniform thing. On some planets, the pull is so extreme that you'd be crushed flat. And on Neptune, the force is strong enough that it rains diamonds. It's even powerful enough to bend light. Gravity even changes across our own planet. So a clock at the top of a mountain ticks faster than one that's at the bottom of the ocean. That's because uh, if you're further away from the centre of the Earth, then the gravitational pull is weaker. And so the faster time passes. Without gravity, there would be no solar system and no us. We are built for it. The human body is built to withstand and function and counteract Earth's gravitational pull. In space, without gravity, astronauts lose bone density, their blood pressure shifts, and even their cells behave differently. And it makes me wonder, what would Newton think if he'd seen zero gravity firsthand? In 2010, astronaut Piers Sellers took Newton's portrait and this very wood chip aboard the International Space Station. Newton's portrait was placed in prime view so that he could watch his little wood chip float by. 